right, what's going on there, folks? Good evening, kind of late out here. It is September uh, 9th, or September 29th, 2021, 10, 10 p.m. California time. A whole lot going on out there in the big island of Hawaii at Kilauea Volcano, the latest quake on the globe, a 2.5 within that area of Hawaii. Let's check out what's going on with that volcano, which is now in eruption stage. This all kicked off here just a few hours ago. I noticed uh, quite a bit of earthquake activity ramping up within a short amount of time. And uh, wouldn't you know it, uh, we have a new eruption at Kilauea Volcano. There's a latest live view um, from a uh, webcam there at the crater and lava lake from uh S1 cam it looks like but man things are cooking there's a whole lot going on there at the crater area no doubt we're looking at uh, quite a bit of uh, significant activity ramping up look at that it's absolutely stunning and beautiful to look at of course so now we're looking at a uh, current level of a red and warning this was definitely upgraded Shortly after I posted the update video earlier today about the uh, increase in earthquake activity, HVO uh, ramped this up, and of course the eruption began uh, shortly thereafter. Here's a little article from the uh, from the folks. New eruption at Kilauea Summit began at approximately 3:20 HST Hawaiian time. Uh, happened today. Lava Lake is currently confined. Lava activity is currently confined within the uh, this area. I haven't haven't even begun to uh, appropriately uh, pronounce that crater, uh, but I'll work on that. So this crater right here is co it's confined. That's where the uh, lava activity is confined at. Gas emissions and seismic activity at the summit remain elevated. HVO field crews equipped with specialized safety gear monitor the eruption from within the closed area of Hawaii. Volcanoes National Park within the NPS permission, with the NPS permission. So yeah, a whole lot going on, folks. Uh, see what this other article here is about from the USGS. We have been seeing, uh, they might be getting bombarded with uh, traffic at the moment. Here was a little earlier article before the uh, eruption talked about increased earthquake activity and ground deformation at Kilauea Summit. They mentioned that the volcano is not erupting. Of course, this was prior. Um, patterns of ground deformation at the summit began occurring, uh, looks like noon today, earlier today, indicating movement of magma in the subsurface. We'll see how much longer this does go on. Um, it's pretty active for a little while. The activity remained below. Let's see here. I can't remember exactly how long this lasted before, but uh, you know, as far as the ongoing eruption and the filling of Lava Lake, but uh, yeah, crazy activity. Kind of seen all this movement here kick up first uh, to the southeast uh, of the Kilauea volcano. And then a massive amount of seismic activity right around the regional, uh, this crater area. Within the last hour, there's only been one 2.5 within this region. But uh, man, earlier, this was all red, indicating, uh, I think we, j we just witnessed when the uh, eruption was starting there at the uh, Kilauea volcano. A lot of movement stretching up towards it. Uh, we'll keep a close eye on this. This will give us a pretty good indication of uh, continued intake. Uh, is intake the word for this? I don't know, but uh, continued movement of magma around the area will definitely keep a, a very close eye on that. But it is in eruption stage at the moment, as you guys seen from the uh, from the webcams, the summit webcams. It's once again pretty awesome to look at, but all, also at the same time pretty uh, pretty dangerous, but beautiful nonetheless, right? Uh, looking around the rest of the globe here for earthquake activity. We did see some significant deep movement over here west of Japan. The 6.1 happened way earlier today. In fact, sometime 
Yeah, it was kind of like late last night, early this morning. Look at that depth for the uh, 6.1, 367 kilometers. Of course, this area does see quite a bit of deep movement, but that's a pretty large quake for uh, uh, and, and some deep movement for this area. Still need to watch this area right here along the Japan Trench. Uh, the subduction area for potential large-scale movement. I've been seeing that for a few months, well, a couple months now. Just been absolutely quiet still. No, uh, I mean, something's got to be building up here. It's just been too quiet within this area. Uh, also, after that 6.1 and a little 4.5, still pretty deep, 137 kilometers down there in the uh, East China Sea, close to there. <clears throat> and uh, a little bit of movement down south here around the Indonesia area, stretching over to the Fiji area where we've seen some more deep earthquake activity with this 4.8 at 517 kilometers. Pretty deep movement there. Um, also some activity over in the South America region with the 5.3 near San, um, San Martin, Argentina. And the South Sandwich Islands around the Scotia Sea getting in on some activity today. It's been pretty quiet. 5.1 striking in that area of the world. Pecos, Texas getting in on Quite a bit of movement today it looks like uh, including a 2.8 within the last hour things ramping up here along the west coast indicating some uh, some heightened earthquake activity inland into the north american continent 4.2 the largest earthquake in this cluster of activity today in the area of texas there's some movement along the south uh, the uh, eastern part of sierra nevadas once again really ramping up here in the antelope valley area you can see some movement within the last hour and uh, earthquake activity kicking up pretty much all day within this region. Mono Lake, again, still kicking up uh, quite a bit of movement there near Bodie, Mono City. Mostly microquakes, but it's definitely something to watch in this region. A lot of volcanic activity in this area. Long Valley Super Volcano, uh, getting in on a little bit of activity as well, some microquakes. Uh, excuse me, got a little bit of hiccups going on. Not good. Not good, right? Right in the middle of an update. Ridgecrest from uh, fracture to fracture up here. Little couple microquakes within the last hour. Some movement along the creeping section of the San Andreas Fault, northeast of Soledad. Right smack dab on the San Andreas Fault. See a couple of those uh, earthquakes there striking around the Pinnacles area, 2.2. And it looks like there was a behind the 2.2, a little bit larger one, 2.8, indicating some further pressure build up out here along the west coast um, some movement on the east side of the plate boundary here near the San, Bern uh, San Bernardino Mountains a little bit of microquake activity up in this region and uh, did have some further movement down here south of the Salton Sea including a 3.0 I was waiting for a swarm of activity to kick up in this region but uh, doesn't look like it's happening at the moment but all it takes is a little earthquake like this, 3.0, 4.0, to really get a swarm going in this region. But uh, for now, pretty quiet, aside from that activity. Intermountain West region, somewhat quiet compared to uh, days prior. A little bit of movement in the Yellowstone area, also up around the Cascades. Northern California, a little movement uh, near the... Uh, uh, Lassen area it looks like a 1.5 and a 1.2 just to the just to the southwest of Mount Lassen by about half a mile or so movement down there at about 3.6 kilometers. Uh, what else we got here, folks? Alaska looking pretty quiet. Like I say, this area right right stretching down through here. We need to be very cautious of this region. Uh, let's see, Yellowstone National Park. No major swarming to report on. There has been, uh, um, well, this looks pretty crazy looking, but it's mostly microquakes and not really showing up on too many of the distant stations. Only a couple of them, a couple of them um, in this map near Maple Creek showing up. So, But it does look pretty sketchy uh, and pretty active on this station alone. So there's no doubt some microquake activity taken up or taking place pretty, uh, pretty rapidly near the Maple Creek area. Every single one of these thin lines and spikes, not, 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 not only these red ones here, but the, uh, there's the 6.0 that struck way earlier this morning 
in the uh, um, west of Japan. It's pretty deep, but showing up significantly on this station. They may have the station amped up a little bit uh, to monitor the earthquake activity. Um, so that's kind of why we're seeing all the deeper, uh, the uh, the uh, smaller quakes as well. Quite a bit of quite a bit here, folks. Looks pretty crazy. Now, if this was all over the park, looking like this, then it'd definitely be a pretty good active swarm. But this is confined and uh, very small microquakes over here around the Madison or the uh, Maple Creek area. Uh, tremor map. I did check this. <coughs> excuse me. Out earlier. Let me get something to drink here real quick. It's just been, we've had a north wind out here pretty crazy today, so it's kind of drying things out. <sighs> Including my voice box. Uh, so yeah, still some movement in the trimmer department here along the Cascadia, up and down the uh, Cascadia subduction zone. Northern California have really been ramping up the past few days here alone. That's continuing today. We got 440 epicenters in total along the Cascadia. Uh, this activity up here around Olympia picked up yesterday. That's continued into the today, but we're noticing a, a new trimmer area in the Vancouver Island area. Northwest of Victoria, not as intense as Washington and Northern California, but definitely a uh, a new area but overall continued trimmer in the Cascadia subduction zone today uh, let's see what else we got here folks in the solar weather department there's still that forecast for the uh, looks like a G1 um, some storming going on October 1st from a CME that was produced Looks like uh, some geomagnetic storming possibility in the mid latitudes and the higher latitudes as well come October 1st. Right now, KP index is looking pretty calm, at least over the next 24 hours, pretty quiet. But uh, up until, like I said, Friday, looks pretty active. Uh, let's see what else we got. Sunspot movement uh, hasn't really changed since last night. Some diminishing, decaying. Uh, activity from a couple of these older sunspots. Look at these just kind of being tore apart. Uh, these down here kind of still looking pretty crazy. 2880 up here looking all right. Maybe a new sunspot potential up here. But uh, a, lot of, a lot of this face, earth facing activity kind of uh, not as a threat when it comes to solar flare at the moment. Although these guys are still indicating, and I'm sure it's probably from some of these other ones that look a little bit more organized over there around the uh, kind of facing. These are going to be facing away from us, uh, but they are indicating a 75% chance of sea flare uh, with an elevated 25% chance of an M flare and 5% chance of an X flare. So we'll see uh, see what happens there. There's that uh, CME. So yeah. Uh, pretty crazy activity on the Big Island, folks. We will be continuing to monitor that, monitor that activity, and uh, keep an eye on it. Hope everyone has a good night. Uh, we will chat you guys a little bit later tomorrow. Tomorrow, folks, we're tally tallying up the coins from my 10-year piggy bank. So I'm going to close out the comments for the 10-year piggy bank giveaway. I'll be doing that first thing in the morning. So if you haven't entered into that, into the, uh, um, I don't know if it's a drawing, but it's a giveaway. Um, you need to go onto my channel and check out the videos. A few videos back, we're giving away. Uh, I, I don't know how much money's in there, but it's 10 years of uh, coins that, that's been built up. And uh, anyway, I'm going to be closing out the comments. I will not be accepting any more comments in the morning. You'll see the. Uh, the notification on a pinned comment uh, we will not take any more guesses after that comment is pinned so get your guesses in tonight on the total amount of money that's in that 10-year piggy bank and we will uh, uh, we will be uh, taking this to a coin machine uh, to accurately count all the money and that will be recorded we'll get a total amount and we will pick a winner 
the winner or the person that guesses the closest amount in this piggy bank will receive the funds uh, from this from this uh, from this 10 year piggy bank and of course we'll get a hold of that person and uh, there'll just be a little bit of verification right whenever you're giving away some money you got to verify that that is indeed the person and uh, whatnot but we will uh, definitely make sure that it's not uh, just given away to uh, you know a, uh, a fake account or somebody that's just trying to get away with some stuff you know so but anyway verif verification will be a uh, top priority when when giving away this uh, this prize anyway all right guys enough mumbling I will chat you guys a little bit later stay safe out there be prepared a lot going on out there in the Pacific on the Big Island stay safe out there if you are in Hawaii I would love to go out there and see that firsthand, but uh, at this moment, it's just not possible. Uh, but I do hope to get out there pretty soon. All right, guys, have a good day. Good night. We'll chat you guys tomorrow sometime. Peace out.